All right, hey, what's going on guys? It's Dean and we're back again with another video today. And um, this video is gonna be tips and tricks for Logic Pro X. And um, we're gonna be focusing on audio files and converting the audio files into MIDI data for this video. And um, I always say to people when trying to compose uh, to always record themes into their phone. Um, basically I say this because especially on the go and it happens to me a lot you could be out walking around or out in your day and you can suddenly start thinking of a, a melody or theme in your head and it sounds great but um, obviously you have no keyboard with you as you're walking around so I always say just sing it or hum it into your phone because once you do that you can take that uh, recording and import it into your DAW um, my DAW that I'm using in this video is Logic Pro X because I'm with Apple um, you could be using Cubase or Ableton I'm sure them DAWs have this feature I just have never used them fully to know, so um, uh, give it a look. I'm sure uh, they do, but for this tutorial slash sort of tips and tricks video, it's gonna be for Logic. So um, first thing you want to do is import the audio file, as you can see here. There's many other muted audio files up here, and um, these are all recordings for of a clarinet uh, for a jazz project that I'm doing. I've been commissioned to write a jazz suite for a band that's got to be live performed. So I can't give a live band audio or MIDI files. I have to get that into a score format into actual musical notes and Sibelius. So instead of listening to a bunch of audio files and trying to pick out each note by ear, which is very tedious and can take very long, and it's not easy either, um, I recorded all these ideas to import into Logic because I know Logic can actually transfer this audio that audio file into MIDI data for me. So down here, when you import the audio file, you want to go over to where it says monophonic and select uh, flex pitch. Once flex pitch is selected, make sure that this blue light is actually turned on because sometimes it can be turned off. And as you can see down here, MIDI files actually start to show up within the audio. So you click on it and switch over to track. And you can see here exactly what notes have been selected and what notes have been played. Now, if there's a recording in the background, if there was a recording in the background of this, uh, like these down here, the clarinet actually wasn't playing this. This was a backing track that was being uh, just played in the background. But you know yourself what notes you're looking for and to pick out. So up here are all the actual notes played by the clarinet. And you can click on it and it'll tell you what note it is. You can either just scroll along and see that's an F or you can click on it and it'll tell you there that it's an F it tells you the next note which is G so straight away you can just import whatever melody you've been humming on your phone import it in here switch it to flex pitch and you'll get whatever MIDI you're looking for and you'll then start to know what notes you're actually working with Um, if you want to actually get a full on MIDI track out of this go over here to edit and scroll all the way down to create MIDI track from flex pitch data. Uh, I already haven't created, so I'm not going to do that. So once you press uh, create MIDI track, this is going to open up a whole new MIDI format. It's got to open up. It'll probably open up on the classic uh, electric piano and logic. That's what it does for me. Um, you could switch it to the instrument that you're actually hoping to use and then start touching up the MIDI from there. So as you can see, Here's the exact MIDI notes that that clarinet plays. This is a really, really um, useful little technique to use within Logic, and it can save a lot of time in composing. I can keep you using some of your best ideas because it's very easy to forget ideas throughout the day. Um, I don't actually need this MIDI file because I'm not actually mocking this up within Logic, so I don't need the MIDI that's actually been shown here. What I'm using this for is to get these notes and pop them into the score. Because now it's actually showing me what notes is being played when the score view. So it helps me when trying to import these notes into Sibelius. It saves me a bit of time so I don't have to keep thinking exactly what way they're formatted. It even shows me the rhythm. The rhythm can be a bit different in Logic. This score editing isn't as good as Sibelius. Because it is mainly for mock-ups, not for actual notation. But... That is basically this little tip that I want to show in this video. It's only short. Um, I just wanted to get another video out there. This uh, helped me, so I'm hoping it can help someone else out there, especially because a lot of people don't realize they can import their audio into their DAW and actually get the MIDI data back and just transfer that MIDI onto a cello or a clarinet and start fixing the rhythm and use it exactly whatever way you want to use it to fit your track. So um, I hope this video has helped you in some way. 
of how to get MIDI data from, from your audio. Do try this out as a technique for composing. If you ever got stuck, just hum a tune into your um into your phone. If if you can't pick out what notes you exactly want to play, just, just hum or sing how it sounds in your head. Important logic and let logic do the rest of the work basically for you. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing fast. We're getting close to 100 subscribers. Uh, leave a comment maybe what video you'd like to see next and if this was helpful and hope to see you on the next video.